Happy day. It's a great day. Oh boy, look, look, at, look at this. Uh, look what I'm waking up to. Oh my gosh. Here. You can hear the sound of the birds. It's freaking forth. It's beautiful. All right, brother. In that case, we're gonna eat some, uh, eat a nice, nice, nice carbs right now. And actually, probably a little more simple carbs than anything because I'm going to the gym. I want to consume. I don't want to digest as much. Simple carbs, a lot easier. So something a little, a little maybe a little bit more sugar. Um, and yeah, leave rat. First order of business. And actually, I don't even think I've talked about this. Every time when I wake up, I chug for like five to ten seconds. Step two, I have all of my vitamins and minerals. Well, micros. Well, supplements. <laughs> Don't get all three of those mixed. I also want to take a second and show you the difference between the create you greens and other greens. Look. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is, what are they fucking putting that? Like iceberg lettuce? For the gym. Yeah, I'm gonna go grind. All right, let's get the leg workout and then I'll show you what I'm eating afterwards. Ow, my shoulder kind of hurts. Daniel, stop looking at me, brother. It's the one on the left, it's the second one on the left. All right, let's go, leg workout, let's ride. I forgot, um, I also want to add a little bit of cinnamon on these, by the way. That's it, right there. Cinnamon's a really, really good source of uh, stuff. Um, <laughs> so basically those, I know I said I was gonna go work out, but um, total total macros here. Um, the cashew milk is 1.2 grams of carbs, 2.5 grams of fat, 0.6 grams of protein, and the raisin bread is 41 grams of carbs, uh, one gram of fat, and four grams of protein. So probably like around 43 grams of carbs total, around two grams of fat, and then like five grams of protein. So something really, really good, 211 calories to get into my system. The cinnamon's probably like eight calories or whatever. And that's it. That's literally all your mother need. Oh, babe. Yeah, all right. So anyways, I really am this weird all the fucking time. Taylor, Taylor, yeah, am I not? Yeah, you are. Actually, this is like me calm. Yeah, it's, yeah this is you just hanging out. Yeah. By the way, he sounds like a brother because uh, yeah, he's got a frog in his throat. <laughs> Damn, dude, he's got a fucking fat ass. I'm about to move to fucking Tennessee and start singing country. Yeah, 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 brother. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's really get this leg workout in. Uh, going to arm breast, gonna be training hard. Um, let's motherfucking go.
It's done. Um, definitely a tough one. So I did. I actually did four sets of two, three twenty-five squat, straight into. Uh, was it 10 or 12? I think it was 12, uh, 10 reps of the hack squat with uh, 180 pounds, so 245 pounds on each side. And that was, honestly, that was brutal. And the thing with me is, if you haven't, haven't been following me for very long or if you are just not updated, I went through some severe, severe injuries where I, they said I would never squat again like doctors. And two herniated discs, like severe, severe in my low spine, was losing control of my bladder and everything. And it's like, this is just, it, it's rewarding to see what I'm capable of doing again. Um, and this is nothing compared to what I can, I can most likely get to. Like I was squatting closer to 500. So this is, this is an amazing feeling. And now that I'm doing more bodybuilding movements, I want to not go as heavy on squats and use more machines to go a little bit heavier. So I'm, I'm, I have a little bit more assistance and stabilization in those areas. So I don't even go to that risk point for myself. Um, so yeah, that was my workout. We're gonna go eat now. Uh, remember, so you know you have your simple carbs, where which are just they're just gonna digest like super super quickly, um, especially before the gym. Like that's something that you want to have a little bit a little bit of sugar, not too much. Um, and then after your training session, for me, what I'm personally gonna do is I'm gonna have a little bit more salt, a little bit more sodium, and I'm gonna make sure I'm getting maybe a starchy carb in there or more fibrous carb. And that will allow me to really fill up and and feel good for the next few hours, but also get my protein in. Protein's super, super important. So, let's go! <laughs> so I'm home, I'm gonna start off with a good old yellow peach. These things are freaking delicious. Remember to weigh everything, honestly. Weigh everything. 212 grams right here. That is 19.8 grams of carbs, zero grams of fat, and two grams of protein. So I got some fibrous carbs in me. Now I'm going to eat some chicao. Chicao. Then I'm going to have some of my special homemade pasta sauce. Sauce for the purpose. And then I'm going to also have zucchini, fafini, zini, fafoni, foni, capini, pini, weenie, weenie, sissini. All right, and uh, well, that'll be it, brother. Oh yeah, I forgot, cassava flour. These tortillas, if you guys have no clue what they are, I've talked about them before. Two tortillas is just 130 calories. 24 grams of carbs, three grams of fat, and one grams of protein. These are literally my favorite ever in the entire world. So for these zucchini, this is like my combo right here. Adobo seasoning, authentic garlic, and pepper blend. And so you take three zucchinis right here, and you just spray it on. And this is in the air fryer. I don't know if you guys have ever used an air fryer, but it's on point. Watch when it comes out of the oven. Oh, it's so good. Watch. Ready? So Taylor's a pancake genius, clearly. Um, and he's going to flip it. Do it for the vlog, bro. Come on. It's not ready yet. It's Come on. on. See, there, there's still still some. That's thing. pretty. That's pretty. Uh, it's pretty watery. Right. Should well, probably toast it up a little bit. Well, you know what? So. Why? What are those things? Kodiak cakes. Yeah, Kodiak cakes. Well, how would you rate them? A one to ten. Uh, you have to be. A world class chef, they're not a cook him, obviously. Uh, either got, got, either got, I just suck. So. Yeah, might, might be that. But what would you rate them, 1 to 10? Um, out of 10, flavor wise, I'd probably give them a six and a half, seven, something like that. They're not they're not terrible, not the worst, but I honestly think you could probably pick up some gas station pancakes and they're probably the <laughs> I tried them and I actually bought them and I'm gonna give them a solid four. A solid four. And that's that's like them begging me to give them a number. Like straight up, do not buy Kodiak cakes. <laughs> Dude, just trust me, do not. Get away from those. You're sick, brother! <laughs> Alright, so he's going to 
Yeah, so this is what you call liposomal vitamin C. I take it all the time, literally every single day, every morning, a thousand milligrams. Sometimes you can take more. So he's gonna take 3,000 milligrams today, motherfuckers, and watch this stuff, watch. He has no clue what he's expecting. You have no clue, you have to squeeze it out. Just swallow it. It's like, it's not bad, right? It's nothing. It's not good either. So. It, it, it tastes like absolute nothingness, right? Yeah, it kind of has like a honey texture to it. And how, how many milligrams? A thousand, right? Yeah, a thousand. This stuff is literally the best absorbed into your body. This is the best, best source. What is it? It's liposomal, what's the company? Uh, Live On. Live On. Live On liposomal right. vitamin C. I literally take it all the time. I'm not even kidding. And I don't get sick. He's sick right now. I'm not gonna get sick. No, I will not get sick. Actually, last time I said that, I said, I told my aunt, I was like, I'm never gonna get acne like my brother. My face is fucked. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Ready? Oh, Ooh, not bad. You, not bad for your first time. You gotta let it go. You gotta be like, you gotta ease like, with it. It's like this, it's like this, it's like this, boom, boom, and then it lands. Yeah, I need, I need to work my form for sure. Yeah, we need to work on your dancing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you, look at that. It's heaven! Okay, so basically I, I zero it out. I zero everything out and then I go ahead and I bring these babies on here. All right. We got, I'm eating three of these today. I'm a bad boy. I'm being a bad, oh shit. Oh, look at the damn sauce. It's all good. And then I look at it and I usually measure it in grams. 267 grams. So I'll calculate the zucchini and then I even put some sauce on top of the zucchini. So I, tear, I hit tear and it goes like that or tar or whatever you want to call it. And then here, I add some sauce to it. And then that's pretty much the meal. And I'm still going to eat these cassava flowers but I'll just add another 1.95 ounces to that sauce. And these are all the macros for this entire meal. It's time to eat. Okay, it's 11.09. And to be honest, I'm not fulfilled. I am not fulfilled. Right now, right now, we are currently at 2,421 calories left. Ooh, I'm excited. So 269 carbs, 72 fat, and 170 protein. All of that, like, geez. Delicious. Oh shoot, I forgot to add in the, the tortillas. That's gonna change us a lot. So the cassava flour tortillas to whatever, that's another 260 grams. So actually I'm at 2,161 calories. And like I said, I'm still freaking hungry and I actually want a little bit more carbohydrate. So I'm going to have, this is tough. It's a tough one. And then I'm gonna have another bowl of cereal. 54 grams of Raisin Bran. And then, again, I, I like to stay under, I don't like to do a full cup or full serving. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh shoot, it's all good. I'll just round up. Go tar it up. I like to go about Four ounces. So I'll add an extra ounce because I added that, that uh, milk. But I go about five ounces of cashew milk, not too much, so that my calories are still staying low. Look at them on the screen right over here. You see them? Okay. Take notes, baby. It's all good. at Starbucks and uh, we're actually handling a few different things with the Create Your Nutrition launch on July 9th. Uh, labeling, a lot of different things are happening. A few more athletes are coming on board. So just so much in such a small amount of time. I, and I feel like this is what always generally happens. 
because I like to move as fast as possible. But I also like to be for the influencer. So the influencer wants to get started, let's get started, let's make it happen. So that's kind of the uh, update right now. I was actually just watching this. You can't really see it, but I was watching Christian Guzman's men's physique competition one day out. And uh, yeah, it's pretty inspiring. It's, pre it's pretty freaking awesome what he's doing. And I just like, I also talked to Shali today and uh, he's insane. He, his physique is just like bar none, like definitely pro status for sure. All right, it is 2.21. Been working a bunch all day. Ignore that. I have 176 carbs left, 62 fat, and 163 protein. So, well, this monster of a man eats his little asparagus, chicken, and what is that? Uh, asparagus, chicken, and rusted potato. Tim, you're, you're sounding worse. I know. How are you feeling? Worse. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, so, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, I want to have... So I have this rice pasta right here. By the way, guys, the best way to eat a lot of carbohydrates or to eat more is to cook a lot of veggies. I don't have a lot of veggies right now. We'll have more a little bit later, but I am gonna have this pasta. It's rice pasta. I make sure it's rice pasta. And then I also have some of these onions left, which is really, really tasty from the grill. And then finally, we have some bison. Not that much bison, probably like two and a half grams of protein for like maybe three. And then I'm gonna have a little bit more chicken and then I'll cut up some t t uh, tomatoes. Potato, tomato, tomato. Okay, cool, let's eat. All right, there you have it. That is 66 grams of super greens, 2.8 ounces of bison, 5.5 ounces of chicken, 4.7 ounces of yellow onion, and then 199 grams of brown rice pasta. All the macros are right here. Um, definitely a delicious meal. A lot of food. A lot of food. You yeah, already know what time it is. It's time to eat. So I want to show you guys some of the stuff we plan on doing with all the athletes for Create You Nutrition. It's really, really cool. So we have these labels. So we're going to be evolving the labels as we upgrade the product and we take it to the next level each time. But check this out. How cool is this? So on the side of the bottle, as you can see, on the side of the bottle, we're gonna have, it'll look like this. I don't wanna show you too much, but you see that? It's gonna be really, really cool. So each athlete that we're working with, or influencer that we're working with, they'll feel like they're a part of Create You. They're not, they're not just somebody that's coming to sell our product, no. If you are, you also have say in our ingredients. You also have, have say in what we're creating and what we're doing, what our vision is, what's our next, next product, a vegan protein, whether it's a, a stress product, um, X, Y, and Z. So we're, we're coming up with more and more ideas that are really, really cool. And eventually, uh, I can't show you. I know I can't. But we're first starting off with uh, white labels and then we want to evolve into black labels. And we want to evolve into something else or evolve into something else. So like there's so much stuff happening and I feel like, yeah, it's, it's hard for me to vlog everything and do, and do this at the same time. I mean, Taylor also is doing a great job with videoing, but he only has so much time as well. So it's kind of hard to balance everything, especially um, prepping for a competition as well, and then do and working on another massive project that I literally still have not talked to anybody about because I just, I can't, I can't say anything yet. I can't jinx, I can't jinx the system, brother. You feel me? So yeah, that's kind of like been what's up. I mean, it's only 2.30 and I've been back and forth with so many calls and work and stuff. But the good news is, good news is, tomorrow I'm actually gonna hit some shoulders. So I, I wanna shift up my, my training a little bit. I really want to get my upper chest and shoulders to, to show a little bit more, especially for stage. So I'm going to do shoulders three times per week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I'll make sure that I'm resting completely on Sunday and on Wednesday, it's not going to be too much volume. It's just only strictly going to be like an OHP, like overhead press or something like that. Something that I can progressively overload pretty efficiently. So 
it's kind of the deal. This right here, I actually put some salt and red pepper on. You need to, well, well. You need to try this, it's, it's amazing. All right, I want to um, take you to one of my favorite places, actually favorite great grocery shops here in Denver, it's called Natural Grocers. Um, kind of go through a couple foods that I would choose now that I'm down to 1200 calories. I think it's really cool for you guys to see how to mix it up and stuff um, to feel fulfilled as well because it's 4.30 or something like that. Um, so there's, there's not too much daylight left, but I definitely don't want to eat until like 9 or 10 p.m. because that actually has uh, a more struggling effect. Struggling effect, does that even make any sense? It has more of an effect and it. it makes your body work to digest later at night, which you really want to calm down so you can go into a very deep sleep and relax and you get the point. So I'm gonna go and show you a couple of things. So whenever I'm in a grocery store, I like to stay away from the cracker section for a number, number of reasons. Number one, if you look at the back, so these are like probably the least amount of calories for crackers, but I don't like how many crackers you can have with the amount of calories that are here. So 15 crackers you can only have for 130 calories, 24 carbs. Now these are probably the best that you can get out of all of these. I mean, cause if you look at the crispy cheddar crackers, this is, look at this, 140, actually this isn't bad, but they're very, very small crackers. So 140 calories, 20 grams of carbs, three grams of protein, five grams of fat, the the actual macros aren't too bad but personal preference i don't when i eat crackers i want to eat the whole bag <laughs> that's what i'm basically saying with all of this it limits me a lot if i'm going to recommend any type of quick on the go rice try tasty bite i really like this stuff um there's two servings in here so 210 calories obviously per cup and there's two cups in here so you get a lot for for the buck. It's like a cup of rice for a dollar, which honestly, on the go, heat it up and run, definitely recommend. And maybe you guys didn't even know this, but all day while I'm on the run, I'm always looking over designs and I'm making adjustments and stuff. So if you could see here, if you see right here, um, this is like a mobile design for an opt-in that we're doing with one of the one of the brands that I that I've built. And so from what I see here, this needs to be slightly smaller. I mean it's not bad to be honest, if you can see it. But for the most part it looks good. There's just certain things that I don't like. So I come in here and I make adjustments and then boom, we're good to go. So I don't generally eat any type of bread products, even if they're gluten free, honestly. Um, but against the grain, I've heard some good things. At the same time, you can really see whether or not something looks good or, or not. I mean, like, look at this. It's like cracking all over. I don't know, not a big fan. So like I said, I'm gluten free. And actually I've never seen these before. Gluten free, well, I try and be gluten free. But let's see what the ingredients are. For a quarter of the pizza crust is 140 calories. So you're looking at, if you want to eat the whole pizza, 280, like 460. And that's, I mean, that's a lot of calories, but look at the sodium. It's 625 milligrams for a quarter of the pizza crust. That's not even including anything else. So I put that shit back. So there's the kelp noodles and then there's all these kinds too, but they're diabetic friendly. Most of them have zero calories. Like, interesting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Just yeah. Show your Absolutely. Viewers. I'm going to. Thank you. <laughs> so she actually just showed me these kelp noodles. Six calories for four ounces. So if you ever want to just like throw something in, they just kind of add a little bit more, I don't know, extraness, <laughs> you could say. Um, this is it, and also, oh my gosh. Ravioli made with almond milk. Jeez. This is what I'm talking about. They have so much good stuff here. There's so much. And personally, personally, I'm gonna get these right here. And I'm gonna make them later. Because, uh, 
who doesn't want some kelp noodles with zero calories? When it comes to pasta, so I do not eat any, again, gluten, especially with my pasta. My favorite, favorite, favorite pasta to get is down there, this brown rice pasta. Hands down is the best tasting. It definitely, definitely recommend it to anybody that gets it. So I believe this is it right here, yeah. This is it right here, so good. But I kinda wanna try something else as well. Um, so this is like handcrafted, which is really cool. Let's see, this is organic. There's some gluten-free right here. So this is actually the gluten-free right there. Let's see, let's see. A big old negative, never mind. <laughs> there ain't shit that I want right here. Pancake mix. Hands down, the best pancake mix right here. Red Mills gluten-free pancakes. Let's look at the macros. So for two four-inch pancakes, Damn. So actually, there's not really any fat at all. And just the mix itself, let's say you do it with water, it's 150 calories for two four inch pancakes, which actually is not bad at all. So maybe for a pre-workout, I would eat uh, two of these, and or actually three of these or four of these to get ready for the rest of my day. Now I wanna show you the big difference between this one right here and this one right here. This is a couple extra ingredients that maybe you don't really want in your diet, but if you look at the servings, again, for 150 calories, that's about 42 grams of weight. Now, if you come over here and you look at the weight, for about 30 grams for two pancakes is 140 calories already, and it's six grams of fat. So 18 grams of carbs, three grams of protein, and six grams of fat. So yeah, this actually might be better depending on where your macros are for the day. For me right now, these would be better, which I'm gonna get them as well. So here's the problem with syrups. The majority of syrups that you're putting in your body are fucking shit. Just gonna be honest with you. If I go for anything, I really kinda just look at the price for the quantity and the amount that I'm getting. So for instance, coconut nectar is actually, from what I've been told, not bad at all. And it's definitely, definitely more nutritious than the majority of other syrups. So this comes straight from coconut and the there's no fat, there's no protein, and there's 13 grams of carbs. So here's the tough thing is that when you put this in your system, that's kind of a lot of carbs just for one tablespoon. If if you're having a bunch of pancakes. If you're just having a couple, then this isn't bad. So I'm actually gonna buy this right now for myself. So when it comes to meats, protein, I am a huge, huge, huge on buffalo and bison. Buffalo and bison are the way to go. I am huge on wild game meats. So anything wild, think anything wild. Cornish hen instead of chicken. I don't eat much turkey, obviously. <clears throat> I have the money to be able to buy this type of stuff, but if you're able to at any point in time eat wild game meats, choose right. Here's another meat that I suggest, if you're not counting your calories and not counting your, your macros, eat ground lamb. Hands down, the tastiest meat in the entire world. My favorite meat for life. The only reason why I can't eat this is because of how much fat is in one serving, which is four ounces, is 16 grams of fat. So I definitely stay away from that. And here's the interesting thing, when you go to exotic like places to eat, you can get things like ostrich. I don't eat ostrich, I, I don't know, I'm not, <laughs> not a fan, but um, there's definitely a lot to choose from. Um, even like extra lean ground turkey breast. So if you look at this, I mean, this is insane. 28 grams of protein, zero carb, zero grams of fat, like you can't really find this too often. Um, so I'm also gonna be getting this as well. Okay, like I said, I like to eat on the healthier side. At the same time, I do like to enjoy some of the meals that I'm consuming. So instead of all the healthy oatmeals that I could be eating, I really, really like these. These are think thin, they taste amazing. There's not like, 
it's not a ton of shit in here. Um, it's not the best for you, but it's definitely delicious. I mean, 33 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein, and two grams of fat is not bad at all. And it definitely does kind of hit that sweet spot for you. So you're not like worrying about, oh, my cravings or anything like that. Like this tastes like candy almost, to be honest. Another reason why I like coming into smaller grocery stores is because they don't mind at all that I'm filming. And that's like a big deep of uh, just like refreshment because everywhere I go, like someone always has to say something. Um, and that's what's cool about this place. So what I'm gonna do is show you some sprays. So um, when it comes to any cooking oils, if you're going to consume an olive oil, you also have to remember the amount of fats that are gonna be in the actual olive oil itself. So one tablespoon is 14 grams of fat. So usually I'm used to, before counting all of my macros, really, really take care having a lot of olive oil, which is not good. You don't want too many fats in your diet, and that's why my stomach was hurting for so much, for so long. So I like to look at all the different options. So avocado oil, this one is a spray. So you do a quarter of a spray. It's very, very small amount, zero calories. This is what I'm gonna go for every single time, 100%. So I've heard some pretty wild things about Annie's mac and cheese. Um, I don't know if it's so true. I know they went through a full scandal. Um, I, I think they went through a full scandal. I, I, don't quote me on that, but I just don't fuck with them. Just being honest with you. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Um, let's see how many calories. So, a serving is about two and a half servings. It's not bad, to be honest. It's not bad at all. You're looking at a big, big meal here. But it's, it's not satisfying. Like to me, mac and cheese isn't satisfying to me out of a box. I love homemade mac and cheese, so I can't do, I just can't do any of this half-ass mac and cheese. <laughs> just being honest. So like I said, the reason why I like this place is because all the unique shit that you find. This is outside the bo bread box, gluten-free rolls. And basically one roll is just 130 calories. It has 17 grams of carbs, three grams of protein, and three grams of fat. This is something that I really enjoy. Now we have cookies here, and I have no clue about these cookies, but let's look at them. Um, do they even have any? Yep, here's the facts. So in one cookie, in one ounce, there's 10 servings. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is about 10. In one cookie, there's about four and a half grams of fat. 17 grams of carbs and one grams of protein. For me, this just isn't worth it. This just isn't worth it, so I'm not gonna buy them. Now they have a bunch of different other products like graham crackers, gluten-free. I have no clue what this is about. Let's see what this is about. So for one of these, it's 100 calories. I'll pass <laughs> on that as well. And they also have a pizza crust. Oh shit, this is dope. So one pizza crust has Let's see, 16 servings per container. Hell no, hell no, way too many calories. So the majority of things that you find that you really, really, really want are gonna be extremely, extremely caloric, which is something that you have to definitely be aware of when you're counting your macros and cutting down and trying to get to the exact place for, for your body. If, especially if you're trying to step on stage or anything. Beans, very high in calories. Um, nuts, seeds but very high quality. So you just gotta pick and choose with what you want, when you want it, and where you're gonna get it from. Good old freaking burrito. Oh, it's time to eat. If you eat right, you feel right. Who remembers that saying? If you eat right, you feel right. When you feel right, you look right. And when you look right, you do right. Yeah, dig, I remember it. Anyways, I have this beautiful, beautiful burrito right here. And let me, let me just go into my fitness pal right now because that's what I use, it's your boy. By the way, if you enjoyed that little grocery haul, that mini healthy ass grocery haul, let me know. I eat healthy. I also have money to spend on food like that. I'll go for a cheap grocery haul here soon, but that's, that's kind of how I shop, to be honest, just being real. Um, but with this burrito, this burrito is freaking delicious. So let me find out which one it is. So it's not the spicy green burrito. Spicy Green Burrito has 305. Actually, this is it. Here's the macros. So we have 
34 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat, and 14 grams of protein, 305 calories in total. So I now have 59 carbs left, 34 fat, and 91 protein. Shit's delicious. Alright, I'm on my way over. I have one more meal tonight. It's gonna be a big meal, like 900 calories. I'm on my way over to my buddy Chase's house. He just got back into town and he's gonna be trying to create you greens. My most important thing with these products is to get it tested by everybody, all different types of demographics. So I'm gonna go get it tested, see what he thinks about it. What's up, man? How are you? And uh, by the way, I love Denver, if you haven't noticed. And we're gonna see what he thinks. He's never tried it before, so here we go. Hello, Chase. What's up, fam? Welcome. I'm here to try some green juice. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, one of the hardest things is, is not saying anything, being like, oh, it tastes a little bit better than this, or it tastes like this. It's just like, you gotta give me the full review. All right. Deal? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Purple, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the green juice never fail. Bastard. <laughs> okay, how much water? That's decent. That's decent amount. It's All good right. for a mix of the greens. All right. Can't smell it. it smells like superfoods. Good. Decent sized scoop. Well rounded. <laughs> go get it. Go get a fork. Quick. Quick before it. We all fucking die. <laughs> I need this to recover from my trip right now. Dude, mix it up a little more. You think? What are you doing? <laughs> you trying to get bad results out here? I mean, I'm just, I'm being a natural consumer. <laughs> natural. Mmm. Actually, it's sweeter than I thought. <laughs> it doesn't have like that like that fish food taste, some greens juices have. Yeah. It's actually pleasant. I'm pleasantly <laughs> surprised. <laughs> I'm very pleasantly surprised. Yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> Fucking win. Yes. Fucking win. Try that one more time. Dude, you know a man likes it. Yeah. When he takes a few sips. No, it's good by itself and then it'd be really good even added to shakes or little- Dude, I take this out. I put the creatine H- don't laugh. I put the creatine HCL in that. Literally, it tastes like a popsicle. Yeah. Because it, it's kind of like a, you know, it's not like a fruity flavor. So, But it, it smells, yeah. And, and the thing is, that it smells earthy. Yeah. Like, when you drink it, you're like, wait a second. That doesn't make any sense. How much sugar is in it? Not much at all. Really? Yeah. It's straight super fruit. Like, it's like high quality shit. Like, no bullshit. Yeah, I'm curious to see kind of the ingredients, but it tastes great. It smells like superfood. Boom, baby. Winner. Okay, I just left. I kid you not. So, Chase, first time he tried it, he really liked it. He said it smells a little off, but then once you drink it, it's like next level. That's the whole point of Green's Juice. And then his roommate came in, and I think he's like mid-30s, and then his girl, I think wife, actually wife, came in as well, and they, uh, I guess she drinks either alcohol or just water. She tried it, and she said, it's actually good, but she wouldn't drink it, which is a good thing because if she's like someone that drinks alcohol and just water and she never drinks any of those greens juices and she thought it was good, that's a huge plus. And then the guy was drinking it the whole time. He's like, yeah, I'd drink it. It's really good actually. So really good news. We're getting a lot of really cool reviews. Ah. I'm so fucking excited. Let's go. So I'm watching um, Jeff Dwell. You look him up on Instagram, he's a posing coach. And he's really working with me on my posing. It, he's hands down like one of the best at po Like, this is my pose. So my, my entire pose, I, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Um, his, this is 30 seconds long. And that's exactly how much time you get, right? 
And so I want to be perfect with mine. So when he walks in, it's just like, he comes in just so clean. Like, look at that. <laughs> he's just so fucking good. I swear, man. Oh, uh, I mean, what is my October 5th? What is that? Three. How many weeks is that? So I have today is June 25th. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen weeks. I'm fourteen weeks out. <laughs> uh, it's getting real. I'm so hyped. Uh, my body's looking so good too. All right. <laughs> Last meal of the day. Let's do it. To finish off. My full day of eating. <laughs> Doctor. Doctor, Doctor Brennan is here to explain what we have. We're going to start off with some good farmer's market berry combo. It's bullshit, it's not even farmer's market. Anyways, uh, I'm also making some bison. I got some chicken. I got oh. kelp. Ma'am? That's fucking gross. Ma Ma'am, I'm not, ma'am. Rise and shine, it's nighttime, bitch. That was great. No, full day of eating. Why are you, effect. you're eating that much meat right no, now? No, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Ma'am, can I please finish my video? Yeah, okay. Thank you, please. Good luck. <laughs> Did you, when you came in here, did you say hello to Daniel? Hey, Daniel. Did you say hello to uh, Enrico the Rhino? I want Enrico the Rhino to plow me. Uh, <laughs> as you said it. You know. <laughs> Katrina! Uh, Katrina, this is a, 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 like... An educated, an educated full day meeting. Very nutritional knowledge. Should we put that as the intro? Yeah. For sure? Enrico the Rhino plow me. Like, hey mom, can you watch this one? This one's specifically for you. She watches, she, she watches it and she's like, oh, Brennan, what the f is this? First time she curses. Anyways, all right. So we got this bad boy, um, the berry crumble. I'll put all the, uh, the whole macros of what I'm consuming right now on the screen. And I'll show you right now, it's done. All right, this is the final, the final meal. So we have the coconut butter right here, simply cinnamon, two tablespoons. I also have half of a gluten-free bun, so I'm gonna put this on here. It's like a little bit of my dessert. And then I have everything in this bowl. You have the macros right here on the screen, so you can see everything that I ate. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Bodyweight to Bodybuilding. Stepping on stage in 14 weeks, 13, 14, 14 weeks. Um, everything's going as planned, exactly how I want it to. My posing's on point. Um, Create Your Nutrition, as you guys know, is coming out very, very soon, beginning of July. Super excited about that. And everything from A to Z is on point. Even, even the podcast, every Tuesday and Friday, remember, you can check those out. Damn, those kelp noodles. Definitely try them out. Um, anyways, thanks for tuning in for another episode. I'll see you next time. Peace!